what's up guys AFC Dino here and welcome to a new video um just a few hours ago I've actually in a few minutes hours um I actually um record recorded a spectate tournament video but I'm okay with doing another one uh, like I'm like I said I'm really trying for this month to dish out a video every single day uh, it would be cool if we can uh, make that work <laughs> so th these small little videos will also help me and I still think they are entertaining and ed educational as well so what I'll do is tournament sign up oh, tournament sign up <laughs> tournaments tournament history and let's go for the other OU like, I'm not doing the other tiers because I'm not that interested like I was I was fine with playing UU, but it just takes me so long to find a game. And, uh, usually OU is instant, so I just stick with OU. If more people are going to play UU, if the queue times are going to be much lower, uh, that would be cool. Maybe if they remove uh, like NU, the NU tier, and only have UU, maybe that could be helpful in the queue times. But yeah, I know a lot of people are. Not a lot of people, but some people like to play NU. So that would be unfair to them. That's why I'll just stick with OU, because I, I, most of the times I will be able to find a battle. And that's the most important thing, because last time I played UU, I had to wait like four rounds or five rounds to find a, find a battle, which, which is insane, because I was just starting out on the ladder. I wasn't even high on the ladder or anything, but uh, yeah. We're gonna spectate this one. This got 180, 128 seats. Uh, it was a big tournament. Uh, so the people who are getting to this final sh must be uh, good or decent. So I'll just click this and let's uh, let's check it out, boys. Oh, I actually see another rain team. And left side has uh, just like a normal balance team, uh, standard. So this build, uh, we see Pelipper and Trail. So it's quite offensive as well. So and because it looks quite offensive, I, this Excadrill might be Sash too. Then, like uh, Stealth Rock Sash, Excadrill. That could be an option uh, because it has to be the Stealth Rock. It's the only potential Stealth Rocker on the team, and he does lead with Excadrill. So. I do think Poseidon Wrath, the name does ring a bell, uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, Tristan Cor Coronado. Well, we see Excadrill versus Mianxiao. Mianxiao can fake out if he has it to break a potential Sash. Uh, so maybe we see a Pelipper switch. Maybe we'll see a Pelipper switch or he just goes straight for U-turn expecting the Pelipper switch here. Uh, so a lot of possibilities. Yeah, we do see Pelipper coming in. And we do see a U-turn, okay. So I assume Rotom is gonna come in there. Uh, like Rotom has so much uh, pressure against uh, Poseidon's team. Uh, so that makes the most sense because Rotom will basically push, maybe guard jump if he's running Draco Meteor as well. But I think Rotom is still stronger. And at this point, because Pelipper doesn't do anything to Rotom, I would just go for Hydro Pump here. Because it would steal to it KO the Pelipper. And exactly, it would catch Excadrill, let's see. Hydro Pump connects and that's huge. Let's see if this is Sash. Okay, this is Sash. Okay, this is just me guys, but you guys know me. I would click Defog in this position because this looks like the only potential Stealth Rocker. And by clicking Defog, I remove the Stealth, you remove the Stealth Rock and you can connect your next Hydro Pump. Yes, exactly. And now I just, now I just Hydro Pump him. Like we can Defog against the Pelipper again. Uh, we can Defog against Scissor if we really want to. But yeah, we'll see. Goes for Stealth Rock and now Hydro Pump won't miss. Oh, he goes for another Defog. Is he trying to stall out the rain? Is he trying to stall out the rain? Like, I would just Hydro here. Like, Rotom, with this gun, you get to click Pulse Switch for free. Now he gets the Toxic up. He's gonna Defog, he's gonna Defog again. Because <laughs> now Excadrill is gonna Stealth Rock, Excadrill can Stealth Rock spam now. 
and he took a poison for no reason but i guess he stalled out a few rain turns so that could work in his favor but at this point yeah, x control is gonna click style rock style rock will stay and Rodom is unfortunately poisoned let's see what happens here Or watch him go into King's Ra. <laughs> that doesn't happen. So, Stealth Rock. Hydra Pump. Yeah, doesn't miss because of d of course. Excadrill is gone, but Rotom is poisoned. I have to say, Poseidon's team is really weak to Rotom, because what is he going to use to kill this Rotom with? Wait, he goes into Gyarados. Um, I guess he's gonna power whip to weaken this, but Gyarados is so strong for his team if he gets to weaken Mandibuzz. Wait, wait. I mean... What? Yeah, I, I know he's trying to block Defog, but Rotom is such a big threat to your team. Like, now he just lost Gyarados, which could have done a lot of damage after a Dragon Dance, by the way. Could have still flinched Mandibus or frozen it with Ice Beam, uh, Ice Fang. But now, uh, Miensho comes in. Uh, he gets to click, yeah, Fake Out, and uh, because, because Pelipper came in on uh, turn 2, uh, the range should be ending here. Yeah, and uh, now he gets to click U-Turn. Uh, expecting the Pelipper, most likely. Unless the Kabutops is gonna stay in uh, to Mianxiao, predicting U-turn. That would be uh, really spicy. Oh! Wait, the Kabutops is staying in. Something has to take the Stone Edge or Waterfall. What is he gonna bring in? What is he going to bring in? This is looking so freaking bad for P Poseidon. Mandibus coming in. Is he clicking Stone Edge? Waterfalls. <laughs> I mean, if you were play, if you were predicting a switch, why not click Stone Edge then? Because it hits Rodom as well. I, it's cool that he predicted the U-turn, but why not click Stone Edge if you are predicting the switch anyway? Now Miesho comes in. Uh, he's just gonna click U-turn again. Right, U-turn is really safe because it's gonna knock out Kabutops. And Pelipper comes in, uh, he can get in Rotom, click, uh, Volt Switch. He can even debug if he really wants to in this situation, but he has nothing to really do for his Volt Switch. The best thing he can cut, Poseidon can bring in his King Drop, but then he's taking free damage there. And, um, Tristan also has a chance, so he doesn't really care if King Drop comes in. So I wouldn't try to defog here, I would just full switch and stay ahead with the damage. Because if he goes Scizor, uh, he can get in the the Mian Xiao again for example, click close combat because uh, Pelipper is weakened. Yeah, there are a lot, a lot of options, he can defog here as well. Uh, it wouldn't be too bad either because he can just bring in Jancy versus the Kingdra. And Kabutops can only use one more attack because of Life Orb, so I wouldn't be afraid of Kabutops setting up a Sword Stance when Chansey comes in or something. Because he only has one attack. So, Defog is not bad either here, but Volt Switch is also a really, really good play. We'll see. Pelipper does indeed switch into Kingdra. And he does go for Volt Switch. He wants to keep the momentum and I guess Chansey is gonna come in because rain is still up oh you can you can go into you could have gone into me and Xiao uh, to fake out but it would have been a free Pelipper as well he goes for he stays in and goes for sure that's not gonna do anything we see a wish okay is this wish is this is this wish teleport or he does switch out there into the scissor well, Scissor could actually still do something, especially with the Rotom being poisoned. Spence on the Scissor set though. Sky Wave, Chansey. The Leftovers, this is Rue Source Dance. I don't, 
I don't think it's his defog because he has a Pelipper and he has Excadrill to Rapid Spin. So it has to be his Source Dance. Yeah. The Rain ending this turn though. No, the Rain is still up. So Scissor could actually stay in or he could Roost there just to find out what Garchomp is. Because the ra Rain will reduce Flamethrower or Fire Blast damage or Fire Fang. Don't know what kind of Garchomp this is. I don't... I don't know what's uh what is the player flamethrower flamethrower fire blast fire fang i mean if you go spell a bird it could be an option but then a lot of guard chips are draco meets here and because he is running weevil plus mian Xiao, i think this is going to be mixed chomp or if he does decide to make go for the fire play then i can definitely see him see Poseidon going into Pelipper here but you already got a sword stance up with this Pokemon and I think you want to weaken you would want to weaken the Garchomp well Garchomp could be dealt with as well but if this is indeed uh, Roost Scizor then he could have roosted on the Chansey but he does decide to bring in the Pelipper And that's indeed the flamethrower, but Dra it's life or guard jumps. Draco Meteor will definitely knock out Pelipper. If that's Rue Scissor, he might just go into Scissor now. Oh, he just stays in, okay. Uh, you don't have many rain turns left this way because Pelipper died while the rain turns were active, so he doesn't get to reset rain. But that's not good. He's going Scissor now to Sword Dance? Or is he going into it? He goes into Kabutops, but he only has one attack, so he's gonna die to a rain. I think I would have just tried to going into Scissor, but maybe Scissor doesn't have Roost. I would have tried to get to plus four with Scissor. Uh, but maybe his U-turn on Scissor, and that wouldn't be ideal versus... Well, if it's Roost Scissor, his Rotom is poisoned, so I would just spam... Yeah, if that was Roost Sword Stance, I would have just gone Scissor there. Especially because Scarlet was at minus two, the rain was up. I would Swords Dance, Swords Dance again. But yeah, now King Drug comes in, and yeah, this is this, this is just over. Close combat. This is gonna kill the King Drug. And now Scizor gonna come in. Um, well, we know Garchomp has Flamethrower, and we know. Scissor has leftover, so I would just stay in with me and shout to close combat and not allow Scissor to sword stance for free. Because once me and Shell drops to bullet punch, without Scissor sword stancing up, Garchomp can come in and just click flamethrower and knock him out. Because Garchomp won't die even to a crit from that amount of HP. But uh, we'll see. Maybe the scissor is able to magically live the the close combat. Maybe it's physically defensive, like max defense with sword stance and uh, living this close combat. And then with swords, getting a sword stance up, critting the guard jump. I don't know. But this game looks over. Um. So he got Poseidon kind of threw away his Gyarados. Kind of threw away his Gyarados. Like if Scissor was indeed U-turn, I would would have brought it in there to U-turn on the Rotom instead of letting Gyarados die. And if you wanted to force him out, you could have gone into Specs King, King Drag just to click Draco Meteor. But yeah, he does knock out. He does knock out the Mansion with Bullet Punch. Uh, without a Sword Stance, uh, there's no way he's gonna kill the Garchomp. Yeah, even if he crits, it's not gonna kill him. Flame Thrower comes off, and it's definitely gonna kill, and that should be the game. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, I think the Gyarados play was most questionable, because if you look at this, uh, he also had rocks up. So, by, go by going into King Drag to Draco Meteor, he would force out the Rotom. So, rocks will stay up. And with Rocks being up, Gyarados had much more uh, mileage against his team because if Mandibus comes in, he comes in on Rocks. 
and one flinch on the one waterfall flinch in the rain against the mandibus could mean that mandibus gets gets to it KO'd or something. I get Gyarados could have done a lot with the Dragon Dance up and he could have Dragon Danced against the um, I don't remember I don't remember the full team. Um oh, this let me look at the full team. Tournament tournament history uh this one. Go to the final again. Yeah, that Gyarados could have Dragon Danced against Chansey. It could have Dragon Danced against the Mian Chao after Intimidate. Could have Dragon Danced against Weavile after Intimidate. Like Gyarados had definitely had a few opportunities to Dragon Dance up, especially with Rocks up. Because, uh, like I said, if you want to force out the Rotom, uh, you just go Kingsra, uh, Draco Meteor on that turn, or go Kabutops. Stone Edge on that turn uh, to get to to to, to it KO the Rotom if they if he decides to defog or force him out so that Stealth Rock, Stealth Rock will stay up. But instead he went into Gyarados to taunt because what was he going to do after? Let's say the Rotom did decide to defog. Was he going to Power Whip on that turn because he was using Taunt, so that means he's lacking a move on the Gyarados. Because it has to be, it has to have Dragon Dance. Unless it's a defensive Gyarados, then I guess. But if it wasn't defensive Gyarados, uh, that would be strange because he w was faster than the Rotom. That would be, that would add some questions. So I think it was just Dragon Dance taunt, and with Waterfall, he could only have one move. It's Power Whip. Okay, but if it's Ice Fang. Uh, it would have been fine as well. Like waterfall still in in the rain would have hit the majority. So if it was power with waterfall and you had enough coverage, but yeah, I don't know the the full Gyarados set of course. If it was indeed Dragon Dance, I don't think he should have made that play to taunt him. Um, like I know I can understand you wanted to keep up Stealth Rock. But I think Rotom was way more of a threat to his team because Excadrill was gone. He got the Volt Switch for free every time. Nothing on Poseidon's team could one shot the Rotom. So I would have gone for a play which forced the 2 with KO or forced the switch because he was poisoned as well. Meaning that uh, if you go into one of your damage dealers, you could have done a lot. But yeah. That's all I have to say about that battle. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video, this video. Uh, if you did, make sure to hit that like button, guys. Give me one of these. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And yeah, you can also uh, mention in the Discord server uh, whenever you see one spicy tournament game and want me to spectate it, go over it, and, and make a video on it. Uh, so. Let me know in the Discord by joining the Discord server. It's linked down below. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out. And I'll see you guys next time.